everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 4 of Kirby's Epic Yarn. Alright, so let's just jump right into it here. We're gonna go check out these new apartments that we put in in the last episode. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we don't have the right furniture that you need to furnish these places quite yet, but, eh, it's always worth checking, I suppose, right? Alright, yeah, point it. TV. Yeah, it looks like some kind of freaky dinosaur thing over here, and that's obviously a rainbow. Um, place. Yeah, we have that rainbow, but I'm pretty sure we don't have the dinosaur or whatever it is. Kind of looks like a dinosaur wearing a bowl on its head from that silhouette. I don't know. That's probably not it at all. I'm sure I'm completely wrong. Uh, yeah, see, that's it right there, and we don't have that. Oh, I'm sad now. Well, let's just stop this. Stop this tomfoolery. And leave. Should probably get on with the game, but we've still got a few other things to do. Well, actually... Only like two other things. I just want to check out this other apartment, 202, which I know we don't have the stuff for because, well, I remember like not getting the stuff until way late in the game for my other file. Alright. Let's see here. I'm pretty sure we don't have any of this actually. What is that? No, that's not part of it. What am I thinking? That looks like, I don't know. That looks like a toy soldier or something sitting. Uh, that's a slide. I have no idea what that is. Maybe a Sunday. I can see like a cherry on top there. Who knows? We'll find out in due time, I'm sure. But for now, let's just pack things up, move on out, and we don't even have to save because we didn't do anything. Damn it! Uh, high CPU users by Studio Program File. Stupid Norton antivirus. My recording software is not a virus. What are you thinking? Oh, sorry, I'm looking at my computer screen. Alright, so I believe, yep, new hide-and-seek challenge. This one shouldn't be too hard, it's just Big Bean Vine. Which is a really stupid name for a level, in my opinion. It's just like, I don't know. Ugh, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Alright, whatever, let's just get on. Oh, we only have a minute for this one, I would better get cracking here. Hey there. How you doing, buddy? Oh, I can't. Oh, that's not a ledge the ledge behind the fabric, just not in front of it. Okay, there's another one, and damn it, I missed, oh wait, I can't get that guy up there yet. Oh, wait, hey, no, get down, up, there you go. Didn't want to miss that guy, that would have been stupid. Alright, four, um, where's the last one? Oh, there he is, right at the bottom here. Wow, that was really easy. I guess they didn't just want, I just, they didn't want to make you like climb the whole freaking level looking for these guys because that would just be stupid. Right. Oh my god, he's still talking about his freaking brothers. I think, I swear I've talked to him and he hasn't said anything, so. I don't know. I just don't know, man. Ooh, that's an ugly fabric. The natural dot fabric. I like the polka dot one better. Regardless, we're still not going to use either of them, so. Who cares? Uh, almost four minutes in already. Are you serious? Are you serious? Wait, I haven't... No, that's not my... Oh, three and a half minutes. Okay. Okay, can I talk to you? Dude. He won't let me talk to him. So how can... <sighs> Whatever. Screw you and your brothers. I don't care anymore. Alright. So, I think we have a patch here. Yep. So let's throw this... What is that? A fish? Uh, oh, it's a watering can. Duh. And it's gonna water that seed down there, which makes that grow all the way up to the dark cloud. Oh my god. This looks not good, Fangora. Hmm. Well, that is actually the door to our first real major boss. Believe it or not, we're already just like a few episodes in here, and you can see that there's still like some little question mark spaces here. Like, yeah, some random door floating in midair there, whatever. Well, there are other ways to get that, and I will explain those later on. I didn't figure it out until, like, way later in my first run. And we don't know what this guy's about yet. He's just sleeping up here. Stupid asshole. Whatever. Well, let's see what this is about. Fangor. Ooh, it's a spooky dragon made out of fabric. That's cool. And this guy is indeed very cool. Especially his music. It's just great. Can't wait. Oh. Here he comes. Oh, look at that. So epic. So epic for me, made out of yarn. 
You know, in the opening picture, he was made out of fabric. Now here, he's made out of yarn somehow. I don't know how that works. Okay, so the it just pretty much throws you straight into the fight here and hope hope that you know what to do. Oh, he hit me there. But I didn't have any beads, so didn't really do much. All right, that's basically what you gotta do for him for this first little bit. He just does stuff like that, tires himself out, puts out his tongue. Oh my god, that was cool. Oh no! Okay, you gotta watch out for like where yarn kind of rises. You never tell where he's gonna come up for that attack. Yeah. So just let him tire himself out and stuff, and his tongue will fall out, and you grab it and throw it at him. Oh, crap. I think you can grab these things, too. Yeah, you can. Cool. Oh, neat. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, there's usually like two different ways, or even more sometimes, to attack a boss. So, just be aware of that. Alright, come on, dude. Yes! Perfect. In the face! Get your face out of my place, Fangora. Oh, he's going to go flying to the background again. Just like Racktail. Just not quite as epic. Oh, crap. No! Damn it. Oh, uh, I knew I wasn't going to get out of the way that time. Oh, well. I still have gold. But as you can see, there's actually another little uh, bracket beyond gold in this one. And that'll be explained later, I suppose. No, crap. That was close. Yes! So just try and get enough bees to get up to that bracket. Yeah, see, I got up to it now. Didn't really do anything special. Oh, crap. You're not gonna ruin me, Fangora. I know it. And one more, for good measure. Take this! Boom! And you're dead. And, with that... The magic yarn is ours. Ah, uh, happiness. Alright. And we got enough bees to get gold, as well as... Is it gonna show here? Yeah, you found the Fangora music and the mole patch. See, this patch, that's the other thing that was be the bracket beyond gold. If you don't get enough bees, then you won't get that patch. And therefore, you can't unlock, like, the hidden levels of the world, I guess you'd say. We did it! We right. got the magic yarn. Uh, I think we've seen this cutscene like once before already. It never changes, other than the f like the two worlds that string together. All right, so here we go. We've unlocked world two. It's just going that quickly. Trust me, it's not going to go this quickly throughout the whole freaking thing. I will have trouble later on. Believe it or not, I have. I'll have trouble with the Kirby game that you can't die in. Huh. Oh. Pff. I forgot about this. Oh, searching for food. I don't know what kind of food you're going to find that's made out of fabric, but okay. No tomatoes up here. Tomatoes don't grow in trees. Well, actually, maybe they do. I don't even know. No, they grow in, like, little vine plants in the ground and stuff. Whatever. This is how we get food in Patchland. Yeah, like a maniac. Alright, oh no! Oh, silly. Oh no, he's so angry. Damn it. Chased him for so darn long. How, how does that even work? How can you chase someone for so long that you forget to be hungry? If I run him or that much, it makes me more hungry. I don't know, maybe that's just me. What am I up to right now? Only eight minutes? That's pretty good. Well, almost nine minutes, but I digress. That is the path to Hotland. Ooh, spicy. And perfect. So let's, before we go into Hotland, I think we'll just take care of the secret levels, or quote-unquote secret, by throwing the mole patch and see what this mole can do. What she can do for me. Ooh, that was neat. And, of course, that makes the land fall, which unlocks mole hole. Oh, nice rhyme there, buddy. Oh. All right. Let's head to the mole hole. And I think usually each of these, like, hidden levels has some kind of gimmick to it. Like, there's, like, th something you have to do throughout the entire level to beat it. I'm not sure. I think that's how it's gonna work. And I think I know what this one is, too. Yup. Oh, this nasty colored cotton. I don't know. I don't... I don't like that color. Alright. Um, can I destroy anything here? What's going on? Oh, I have to get this. Duh. Duh. Get the freaking CD thing. Whatever. And you become... Oh my god, you're like a digger. So pr pretty much press 1 to dig, and you can dig away all this nasty, stupid cotton. It's kind of cool. 
Definitely not my favorite power-up, but it's interesting. And, but the one thing that I hate about this is that in these levels where you have to dig like this, things can just be hidden, like, everywhere. Like, I'm not kidding. I'm pretty much gonna have to, like, gouge out this whole place just in order to make sure that I get everything. So I'm sorry if this is gonna take a really long time, which I'm sure it will. But, yeah, you gotta do it. If you want to make sure that you get everything, then you gotta do this. Because if you don't... Oh, crap. Didn't mean to do that. Can I get back up there? Maybe? Nah. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure there's nothing up there. Ooh, nice. Let's drop a block on his face. Okay, um, that guy doesn't look fun. Hey, buddy. You're dead now. Oh, crap. No, it's gonna fall. You want to get out of the way of those things falling, because they can crush you, and will. It's really not a pleasant experience. What the hell? I was, like, stuck to the roof there. Mm -hmm. This reminds me of, like, the drill power-up in Super Mario Galaxy 2, but that one's way more fun. And nothing here. Okay, get off. There we go. And sadly, when you're not actually digging, you don't really get too you don't get really go too fast, which is really annoying, but you'll get used to it, I'm sure. Um, probably want to head over here to make sure I have a, enough space to jump back over if I need to. And start digging. Here we go. Digging a massive crater. Well, it's not really craters, more tunnels than anything, I suppose. Oh my god, this is so boring. Why would you want to watch this in LP? Probably don't. Well, thank goodness there's not, like, any levels like this. Ooh, I just got a star there. Neato. Okay, and you gotta make sure in, like, the, which orders you dig these rows to, because if you dig it in the wrong order, you can't get back up, as was demonstrated a bit earlier. There's some weird, like, pumpkin carrot thing floating over there. I'm sure we'll find out what that is soon enough. Alright, and this music really can get on your nerves in a hurry. In a scurry hurry. Oh my goodness. Yay, I got the bronze medal. Oh my god, no! That was stupid. Wait, how do I get up there then? I don't even know. Um, okay, so I can't get back up. I'll probably have to come back through this level then. Which sucks. Oh well. Thank you. Wait, can I? I want to see. Because that, like, shot me way the hell up there. No, I can't reach that. Okay. Oh, whatever. Mm, I saw that patch down there. I'm not going to pass that up like a stupid idiot. Alright. Uh, so, my semester for this year, my, like, my school, like, my schedule, I mean, for the semester... It's just not fun at all. It's like the worst schedule I've ever had. It's like, I can get in, like, homework every freaking night from, like, all four of my classes. Basically, I have, uh, math, physics, chemistry, and, um, social studies. Okay, dig this thing away. Cool, some beads. Yeah, so pretty much I'm getting homework every night, so I'm sorry if, like, videos are gonna be... St they might start to get posted later and later. But there's really nothing I can do about that, because, sadly, school must come first. Thank goodness I'm in, like, my second last year of school. I'm getting tired of this. Probably take, like, a year off before I go to college. I don't know, maybe. We'll see how my life goes. Oh, crap. I thought that guy was going to hurt me. That was scary. Scary, man. Alright, no, crap. Gotta make sure you take away all of this cotton now. This is probably gonna consume the whole rest of the video, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Yeah, as far as I remember, I, like, I only remember really one other level like this. But, who knows, there could be more past what I've played, what I've played through. It could be a very big possibility. No, crap. Crap, crap. Oh my god, I still got all. That was cool. And I see that patch over there. Can I get up? Thank you. No! Oh my god. He's gonna get me. He's gonna get me. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought I was trapped for a second there. I thought Kirby would be too fat to get up through that gap there. But apparently not. 
Maybe Kirby's not as fat as everyone likes to think. Hmm. Uh, also, um, some other stuff I suppose I could talk about. Uh, NCS, Nintendo Capri Sun, I'm sure many of you know him. I know I've mentioned him quite a bit and referenced him, obviously. But he started, uh, his own Super Mario RPG LP the other day. And, um, I don't know, people have been, like, asking me what I think about it, and like, why are you asking me? It's like, I'm just playing the game, there's a bunch of other people playing it too. And they're all gonna be great LPs, I'm sure. And I'm, I'm th gonna thoroughly enjoy his Mario RPG LP. It's not like I'm mad at him. It's not like, oh my god, I'm so mad. He's copying me. me, me, me. No, if NCS was copying me, I would be so flattered. Like, you don't even know. It's amazing. Oh, crap. Ugh. Yeah, but he's not copying me, obviously. Like, who am I? Who am I to have to make, to, to copy off of? Oh, the silver medal there. That's cool. But yeah, I actually kind of brought up a topic, like, wouldn't it be funny if someone, some, like, random troll or something thought he was copying me, even though I started mine back in September, which is actually kind of sad that now that I think about it, that I've taken so long and I'm still not really that close to being done, even. Oh, well. I guess I am doing, like, two, well, now three LPs at once. Alright, oh my god, I gotta work this carefully, I think. Yeah, I think I just screwed myself out of whatever was down there. Oh, damn it. Yeah, see, that's, a, that's pretty much the curve equivalent of a block puzzle right there. The only one I've seen in the game thus far. So, yeah. That's really all I have to talk about. That's pretty much all my topics covered. Jeez, I haven't gotten, like, any of the treasures or anything. Oh, my goodness. I must not remember this level as well as I thought I did. Wait, is that treasure down there? It looks like it. I see something floating down there. And this is where you would come out if you beat that block puzzle thing, by the way. Well, look at that. That, is, that looks like some kind of floating island or something. Can't wait to see what furniture that is. Oh, it's the tree stump bed. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, seems like something that those, like, sprites from Wario World would sleep in or something. I don't know. I'm just being silly now. But silliness is next to funniness, I suppose. Actually, no, randomness is next to funniness. What am I talking about? Well, both. I guess both can be the truth. What am I saying? Oh my god. I'm not being funny. Not that I have to be funny all the time, but... Still. I'm sure I'm entertaining. Yeah, isn't this, like, the most entertaining thing? Well, I'm sure this is much better than whatever's on TV right now, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, seriously, why would I watch, like, Survivor or something when you can watch Kirby dig from side to side of the screen? Hell yeah! Oh, I'd watch this all day, every day. It's crazy. Oh, I got something there. That was cool. Oh, these beads are probably gonna disappear, so I might as well get them while they're here. Ah, uh, now I have some stupid hole there. Oh, well. Oh, butt mashing for the loss. Yeah, I know I'm being a little bit, like, redundant here by searching, like, literally every square of this level, but... I mean, hell, you saw I've, I've, like, missed quite a few things. I think I missed the music and the first treasure, too, so... At least I'll get gold. Nah, then I won't have to worry about that on my second time through. Yeah, if you're not going for everything this level, I'm sure is a breeze. Because, like, really you just have to keep digging down and down and down. Alright, and I think... This level is now clear, because here's the spool, and there's the complete little thing. And we didn't get a good bonus there, only the two-star one. Oh well. Whatever. Do doesn't really matter to me, because, I mean, I already got gold, so whatever. Mm. Ah, Coke. Love you. Or what time am I at? Nine Holy shit, 19 and a half minutes. Oh my god, I really talked for that long over this one level. Oh my god, I'm sorry, you guys. That must have been incredibly boring to watch. But Alright, I guess that's going to have to end it off for this episode. I really wish I had gotten more done, but what can I say? This level takes forever. Most of them don't take that long, trust me. So next time, eh, hell, we'll just throw this patch now. Don't want to keep you in suspense like last time. Was that like an air horn? There's a... Like, 
Oh, it's a party thing. Oh my god. And he woke up and somehow that fell and it unlocks the next level, which is Weird Woods. Cool. So I guess next time we're gonna Well I'll probably like go back and get the stuff that I missed in the mole hole. And then we'll go take on the Weird Woods. So I'm sure you will be waiting that with bated breath. So Thank you everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.